I'm Peter and I'd like to welcome you to the Scottish Flute Channel, the channel for all things traditional flute and whistle playing in Scotland. So that tune, the introduction tune was Laura Lynn Cunningham by, of course, Phil Cunningham. And it is a fine tune indeed. Uh, well worth taking the time to learn, very dramatic. So one of my favourites. Of course, as you will all know by now, we have now run out of material from the videos of the Scottish Flute Weekend back in 2001. It's been a good run. It's been over a year that we've been doing these fortnightly videos uh, from that series of videos. So uh, a lot of material really worthwhile. Moving forward, I want to do some different things with the channel and I'm as always, open to suggestions. So if anyone's got ideas out there, then let me know. And what I want to do this time, and there'll be a series of these videos, uh, is concentrating on using old uh, collections to put sets together. So really looking for feedback in how you construct sets of tunes, whether that's for dancing or for listening to, and how you go about, what are your favorite collections and how you go about using those to construct sets. So there'll be a series of videos using Kerr's Merry Melodies. And this week we've got book one. And if you have access to this, these are a fantastic set of four books um, with each of them having 440 something tunes in them. So a great collection, long out of print of course. If you can find copies in secondhand shops or the like, that's great. If you can't, then with a little ingenuity in searching, you will be able to find ABC transcriptions of each volume of, of this set of, of books. And they're pretty good transcriptions as well. Uh, so well worth just having a little search on the internet to find them. This week I have chosen to do a set of jigs <clears throat> and they are Off She Goes, The Harmonica, I Lost My Love and The Academy Jig. Now one of the things about Kerr's Mary Melodies is that you can quite often, uh, certainly in the country dance section where these come from, you can often just play the tunes one after another. Um, but in this case, I've tried to mix it up a bit in order to kind of experiment with how to put sets together. So in this case, a little bit of detail before we go into the tunes. Uh, the first one off she goes is in D. The harmonica is in G. I Lost My Love is in uh, A minor. And the academy jig is back to G again. So firstly and foremostly in my head, what I'm thinking about is changing key uh, between tunes. And this has the effect, hopefully what you're, uh, what I'm aiming for is to have, to lift the music. Um, in if you're playing for listening, you want the listener to realize that something has changed. We haven't just kept the key the same and sounding a bit flat, perhaps. We've actually done something to drag the, the listener's attention to the fact that there are things happening here. Uh, so that's one thing. From the harmonica into I Lost My Love, we're going from a major key to a minor key, and that really has a real impact on the mood really coming into that, oh, well, something's, something's different, something's darker with this third tune that we're playing. And then coming back out again into the major key, lifts the whole thing up again, brightens it up as well. So that's the idea behind that. Um, most of the times when I make sets out of this collection of books, I'm using tunes that are reasonably close together in the, in the volumes, just because it's easier to to switch between tunes if they are if they're close together on the page, uh, or you can transcribe them and, and, and put them anywhere you like. So if you're following along with the the books, uh, they're on page twenty nine and thirty one in this particular set. So please, I would like feedback. I would like your thoughts on uh, how you put sets together, 
which old collections you like browsing through and how you go about fitting tunes to each other. Okay, so enjoy the video. Uh, this time I've actually played it on an A whistle. Um, so if you're trying to play along, that would be kind of difficult on a D whistle. Um, I use the A whistle just to uh, uh, just to have a difference, really transcribing um, from from D into A rather than trying to redo all the fingering. So it's the same fingering as a D whistle, but just uh, lower down. So enjoy the video. Let me know what you think, and if you have any other suggestions of uh, things you would like to see on the channel. Just put them in the comments below. Remember to subscribe if you like this and click the bell button to receive notification when new videos appear. All right, thanks for now, enjoy. <laughs> 